Welcome to ESPN's College Football Saturday. Tonight, the Virginia Tech Hokies take on the number one ranked USC Trojans in the Black Coaches Association Football Classic. All season, ESPN Saturday Night College Football will be broadcast in high definition, presented by Phillips and Best Buy. Well, over 5,000 more seats have been added to FedEx Stadium, and they are filled tonight, so we should have in the vicinity, as you look at Eddie Royal, of close to 92,000 people on hand for this one tonight. Eddie Royal, player of the year in the state of Virginia last year, and they really like him, and he is what the coaches call electric. He makes things happen. Ryan Killeen will kick it off for the Trojans of Southern California, and we are just about set to get this one underway. Royal, two yards deep, he'll take it. Out to the 25, and now the 27-yard line. He has had, what, uh, all 13 games he started last year. It's not as though that, that this is his first rodeo. The lone setback behind him is Cedric Humes, who was injured in the spring, and they open up with two tight ends. We'll check over the lineups after this first play. Possibly at Audible on first down. Play action. Nobody was there. Here comes pressure. And the wise thing, this is the way the Hokies will line up. It is Hyman and Clifton, the wide receivers. Humes and John Kinzer are the running backs. Jeff King is the tight end. One of three tight ends we'll see this evening. Martin, Butler, Montgomery, he was a guard. They moved him over to center. James Miller is the right guard, and John Dunn is the right tackle out of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Actually, on first down, a case of early jitters here to start this ball game as the tight end King sets up with a slot out on the left side. They go motion, and here's option to the short side of the field. Randall has five, has ten, breaks off the tackle, and it's going to be a gain of about 15 yards in the play. And again, Randall is going from a shotgun formation. Seven men at the line of scrimmage as the corners have come up to play bump for the Trojans. Steps up into the pocket, going to go long. Got man coverage, ball is overthrown and incomplete. And here are the starters on defense. Rucker, Patterson, Cody, and Jackson. Sean Cody, a preseason All-American on virtually everyone's list. Great group of linebackers. Grotegood, Tatupu, and Sartz are the three. There will be others who will play tonight. Very active. Wyatt and none of the corners. Bing and Leach, the secondary. And you'll notice these corners, and Mike will talk about it tonight, how they come up and jam. Lines up at fullback. Here comes a blitz from way off the ball, and the handoff goes to Hughes. Left side, nothing doing there. In fact, he may have lost it. Been confronted with... <laughs> He's been confronted with a toe injury. Didn't look like it on that play right there, though. Now here comes a flag here. The down line, but it also the linebackers. You're right to take the football away. Flag is downstream. Humes 40, 45, and he's going to step out of bounds at about the 46. Illegal formation. Only six men on the line. Number 79 was lined up in the backfield. The penalty is five yards from the previous spot. Repeat, third down. Even farther behind the chain, so to speak, as they have a third down at 20 yards to pick up the first. Draw play. Humes right up the middle, 35, out of the 40, and almost back to the original line of scrimmage. Vinny Burns, he's a senior out of New Orleans. Another flag is down. High spiral. This one turning over, and it's going to be to Bush at the six-yard line. Bush at the far sideline at the 15, cuts back into the middle to the 20. Only six men on the line of scrimmage against the offense. Number 49 was lined up in the backfield. Camp will be declined. Southern Cal's ball, first and 10. Matt Leiner, you have to say that he is one of the biggest pre-season Heisman Trophy candidates, and they're going to start with both tailbacks in the backfield, Lindale White and Reggie Bush. No fullback on this one. Maybe they got a special play in mind, Mike Gottfried. We'll see. That's Bush, who goes out to the right side. And now here comes an audible from Leiter. They're going to run the quick screen. Quick pass, screen ball, tip, almost intercepted, and it's dropped. Now they go with one tailback, and it's Lindale White, sophomore out of Denver Chatfield. He'll get the hand off on the right side, puts a head down. The hole runs over a defensive back, still running hard, and it's going to be a gain of eight yards in the play. 
Here are the starting lineup for FC. Steve Smith and Chris McFoy are the wide receivers. Lindell White and Lee Webb are the running backs. Alex Holm, after missing all last year, is back at tight end. Baker, Drake, Khalil, the left side in the center. Matua, and the guy on the right side is Latui, and they simply call him Deuce, are the starting lineups. Gets the handoff again, hit in the backfield, still fighting, breaks off the tackle, breaks another, and he's off. 50, pushed out of bounds at the 45. 23 yards from scrimmage. That's exactly how they ran on the number one defense of the Trojans. Pitch back goes to Reggie Bush, turns the corner. Stiff arm going to be pushed out of bounds inside the 45 to around the 44. And let's check the starters on defense. Bud Foster, the coordinator, he's got Burchette, Jim Davis, and boy, the pros love him. He's really a good one. Jonathan Lewis at left tackle, and Daryl Tapp is the left defensive end. The linebackers, Anderson, Warren, and Baki. And in the secondary, and here's where we've had a lot of changes and flipping. Jimmy Williams moves from safety to corner. Vincent Fuller and linebackers coach. Second and seven. Pass swung out. That may be a backwards pass. Bush gets it on the bounce, turns it upfield, and they did. They called it a backwards pass, and he very alertly picked up the ball on the first hop. Tipped it, got it back to himself, lined it in the pocket, goes on top, got a man. He is out of the back of the end zone. It is incomplete, and Chris McFoy is about to go under 11 minutes to play in his opening quarter. Three wide receivers set, and to the left, is Dwayne Jarrett, a prized freshman, and the pass is to him and it's thrown behind him. Virginia Tech, four down lineman, and now Leinert doesn't like what he sees, and a flag goes down. Oh, delay game. It is delay of game. Five yard penalty. Third down, but this time they need about 15 yards rather than 10. Leinert sets deep in the pocket, good protection, right over the middle. Ooh, he almost got his off season, he said being the more selective with a kick and there's a pooch right there he still may have kicked it too far he did five yards deep in the end zone and Josh Hamilton checks in a tailback for the Hokies and again Randall will go from a shotgun formation but they give it to Hamilton nope he's going to keep it outside I'll break your pardon and he'll take it out close to the 25 has a gain of about five yards in the play and a quick out pass that bubble screen ball is on the ground is it a backward pass or a forward pass the line to make is the 30 yard line Corner comes up faking the blitz. Now he comes. Fullback picks him up. Gonna run it. Randall has the first down. 30, 35 out to the 40. And he's gonna step out of bounds after taking everything he could get, which is all the way out to the 48. This time Kenzer comes back into the ball game at fullback. He's offset to the right, tries to get the block, and boy, there's nothing. He was a wide receiver, and they moved him back to running back. Boy, pressure off the corner, got a man wide open, and the tight end is there, Jeff King. Gain of 19 yards. Looks like an audible at the line of scrimmage by Randall. With the play action, steps up over the middle, got a man open. Good heavens, hit him in the wrong place, right in the numbers. Chris Clifton. Josh Hyman, the man to the bottom of the screen. Two wide receivers to the top. Randall. Good protection. Ball is tipped and it's intercepted in the middle to Tupu. To Tupu. Back to midfield. And he is tackled at the 46 yard line. So let's see if the men of Troy can come up with a response after the turnover. Play action by Liner. Got a man wide open right over the middle. And that is uh, Dwayne Jarrett. They put an asterisk by that one as the talented freshman stopped him from practicing. Virginia Tech jams the line of scrimmage on the second down and short. And they go straight ahead, Lindell White. But he is the big boom back as it is the first down. And the second time tonight that the Trojans have been inside the 40-yard line. Quick out pass caught by Jared. Nice job on an open field tackle. And he throws with his right arm rather than his left. Two of six is number so far. Here's White. Whoa, does he get banged hard at the line of scrimmage and knocked down. The Reggie Bush, the lone setback. But remember, he catches the ball extremely well. And there's the middle screen to Bush. And he's got running room. 20, 10, touchdown, Southern Cal. Brian Randall's interception. 
Colleen with the extra point of tip is up and it's good. And at the 559 mark, we have somebody on the scoreboard, and it is preseason number one rank, Southern Cal. Seven to nothing as you take one more look. Reggie Bush, 35 yards for the touchdown. We'll be right back. Well, you put them together and they're over 700 pounds. Second kickoff, it's going to go deep into the end zone. This one is not going to be returned by Royal. Cedric Humes, the tailback again. It's Richard Johnson who came in motion and now reset on the bottom of your screen. And the option goes to the open side of the field. Randall, 10, 15, has 20, and he'll take it out over the 42-yard line. He's got four carries for 65 tonight. And Pete Carroll won't like those kind of numbers, even if it was halftime right now. From the 41, option again, this time to the short side of the field, and he'll have one. Second and eight, here comes a blitz from the right side, pass thrown complete at the 45-yard line. Third down. Randall in trouble, going to scramble. Got the first down and more at the 40 and goes out of bounds, they will say, at the 37-yard line. Hamilton, the tailback, gets the handoff right at the middle. Now he's going to take a few people with him. Good blocking again. Trojans on top, 7-0. But the Hokies are threatening. Hamilton right at the middle, breaks the first tackle, flag is down. He'll have the first down. But let Illegal formation against the offense. Only six men on Mike. the line of scrimmage. So it's second down and nine. SC shows blitz. Did they stay at home? Pass right over the middle. That is incomplete. Intended for the 19, Josh Hyman. And now a flag comes down from behind the line of scrimmage. And we've got a roughing the passer. First down at the 21 and a half yard line. Hamilton, blocker in front. Good ankle high hit. Humes, hit by Tatupu, number 58. One twenty-two total yards for the Hokies. 94 for the men of Troy, but they lead it 7 to nothing. Randall, just going to throw this one away at the 11-yard line. Brandon Pace will come in and attempt the field goal. It's going to be directly on the hash mark. It is a 35-yard attempt. He's a redshirt sophomore out of Virginia Beach. Got plenty of length, but he's also got the accuracy. And the Hokies are on the scoreboard. So we'll take a timeout with 1.42 left in the opening quarter. And our new score, SC 7-3. As Jared DeBelli prepares to kick it off for Virginia Tech. 7-3, our new score. Bush fumbles it, picks it up at the two. Short drop, puts up the fade, and it is caught, but it's caught out of bounds by Jarrett. Now Lindale White, number 21, comes in a tailback. Short drop, pumps it over the middle, got it complete. It's going to be stopped at the 25-yard line. Well, he completed 212 straight passes, or not straight, but passes without throwing an interception last year. This time under pressure, going to be hit, and he's sacked, and now there's a flag. Then it's down at the 17. And Personal foul on the defense, grasping the face mask, number 95. 15 yards, an automatic first down. Jim Davis Jim da following a gigantic personal foul call against Virginia Tech. Line up with the play action, backside pressure. Now gets it away, and it is incomplete at the 45-yard line. He is mean. He made a great play on that last one. Pitch comes to Bush. Cuts it back up into the middle. He gets flipped at the 45-yard line. That is the end of the opening quarter. We'll talk more about it in just a moment. And as we go to break, Southern Cal 7 and Virginia Tech 3. The end of our first. We'll be back with more right after this. The last time that the Virginia Tech was a part of this uh, BCA, we didn't get to play the game. We had a storm, and they had to cancel it. We'll talk more about that.
Right over the middle, and there's a catch by Alex Holmes, the senior out of Sherman Oaks. So it looks like it was a good call. Vince Hall comes up. Steve Smith in motion. Leonard looking, trying to get his receiver to ad lib. Puts up the ball, and it is caught inside the 20-yard line. Lindale White again is the tailback. Virginia Tech comes with a blitz. You can see it bottom of the screen. Leinert going to be hit for the second time tonight. He is sacked, and it's Jim Davis who set out the entire season. But as we mentioned in the lineups, the pros really like him. Bush hit at the line of scrimmage, and again it's Xavier Adibi, number 11, the redshirt freshman. Third down. The line to make is just inside the 10. This is the 10th play of the drive. His line of retreats. Here's Bush. This is a play he scored on the middle screen, looking for a place to go, and this time he won't be able to break it out as Chris Ellis. His longest was 45 yards. That was against Arizona State. And this is going to be an attempt up 35 yards from the far hash mark. Ball is long enough, and it is wide right. In the last few minutes. Well, you got to deliver the knockout blow early against the underdog team, and I think Brian Randall, to this point, has been a human highlight for him. He could get some receivers that can come out and uh, make some early mistakes, but they've hung in against the defending national champion, and uh, they've got a good football team. Uh, not a, probably good enough to beat USC unless USC falters a little bit. Third down, they need to take it to the 30-yard line. We'll check this third down play. And then one more question for you, Jim. Out in the flat, got it complete. That's the fullback, Finzer, and he'll have the first down. But I'm not going to play LSU the very next week. That game was shifted to 07. Randall, under heavy pressure, gets by one, will not get by the second. Number 99. Finishing on a low last year. Yeah, very much a low. Four of the last five, they dropped and were beaten badly. In their bowl game. Pass over the middle, caught by the tight end King. And King will have the first down. The ball inside the 45 yard line at three catches, 47 yards. That's a career high for him. Running play, Hamilton right up the middle, spins off and goes inside the 40. And proceeds to buying these wristbands go to the United Way in southwestern Virginia, guys. Okay, thanks very much, Aaron. Pass over the middle, got that one complete as well. Richard Johnson. Johnson still on his feet, out of bounds, inside the 25-yard line. Tackled by Bain, inside the 25. Hamilton comes in motion. Randall's going to keep it, play action. Gets out on the outside, breaks a tackle, goes inside the 15, and they'll move the chains again. Kinzer back in the ball game at fullback. Randall now eight carries for 96 yards. Hands it off to Hamilton, and he'll try left guard, and there's not much doing. Tenth play of the drive, and keep an eye on number 90, Jeff King, the tight end. A Hyman in motion. Back to throw, out in the flat, got a complete. Hyman at the five. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. with 619 left to play in this opening half we're going to take a timeout but it is Virginia Tech the solid underdog in this one who has come up with a drive of 80 yards and they finish scoring and put it in to a 10-7 lead Jared DeBelli will kick it off for Virginia Tech good high over end Reggie Bush Nice job of coverage by Virginia Tech. Mad Liner, nine minutes, 20 seconds in possession time to 14-21 for Virginia Tech so far. Handoff right at the middle. This is Bush spinning his way. Running play again with Bush. Does not have the first down. He gets hit very hard and knocked down. Number one, Eric Green. Short drop. First man was covered. Now nobody is ad libbing for him. He's going to run it, and he'll have the first down. Keeping the drive alive as the clock runs. Actually stopped with four minutes and 40 seconds left until halftime. Boy, pressure up the middle. Got this pass away in and out of the hands of Dwayne Jarrett. 
Second down to 10. Steve Smith, the man in motion. But they go with the running play to Lindale White. Good second effort there. He's going to have a gain of very close to eight yards in the play. Chris Ellis making the tackle. Steve Smith averages almost 19 yards per catch. SC, four of six on third down conversions. And they go with Lindale White. Has the first down, driving people back and still taking them with him. Good hand from the line. Xavier, a redshirt freshman out of Hampton. Well, look at this play again. It's White inside the 45, and he is close to another 10 yard gain. First and ten, seven cows. They keep an eye on that clock. Going under three minutes to play. Bush gets the handoff. Going to be hit behind the line. Second down. They need to take it down to the 33-yard line. And they hand it off in the reverse. Nothing there. Steve Smith. And they still can't get him on track. Third down. They got to take it just inside the 33. This is the tenth play of the drive. Pressure comes right up the middle. Liner drills the pass. Got it complete, short of the first down. Steve Smith up. They're going to try to pick somebody right here. It's push in motion. Short drop, right over the middle, in and out of the hands of the intended receiver, Jarrett, as he got hit very hard. Go for something big, or will they be satisfied with the running the clock down? Look, they're just going to try to run the clock down. Cedric Hume's going straight ahead. They're going to take one snap, and then they'll head for the locker room. And Humes will go for a couple of yards, and we are at the intermission. And this partisan house of Virginia Tech Hokey fans on their feet and making a lot of noise. Our halftime score, Virginia Tech 10 and Southern California 7. Now here's Reese Davis with the Pontiac Halftime Report. Xavier Adibi tore a muscle in his right arm. He will not return to the lineup tonight for Virginia Tech. Xavier Adibi. And let's check down to the sideline. There's a DB right there. You see the ice pack on that torn muscle. Hit behind the line of scrimmage. Uh, Lindell White will break the first tackle. And he winds up with a gain of maybe one. Play action. Pressure on Leonard. He's going to be sacked. Tight end Alex Holmes flexes out about 15 yards to the left. Liner pumped it once, going to go on top, going long, and the ball is almost intercepted by Eric Green. Chance for a return. High pass, gets his kick away. This is not a good one. End over end, bounds inside the 50 yard line, and they'll get no return out of this one. So aesthetically, it left a bit to be desired. Time it in motion. And they give it to Humes right up the middle. Tries to drive the pile, and he does for three. Option play. Hyman was the man in motion. They could have pitched to him, and boy. You see Southern Cal coming with a blitz. Flag is down, and it's thrown complete. That is to Humes, still on his feet, and it will be stopped shy of the 50 yard line. Reggie Bush is the deep man. And here's the left footer's kick. Wobbly high spiral, not going to turn over at Bush on the run at the 18. Good old glory flying. Beautiful night here in our nation's capital. Look out behind, ball is thrown complete. And that's going to go to David Kirkman, the fullback. Look at number 82, Chris McCoy. He's a sophomore out of Chino. Smith in motion, and they throw it out to McCoy. And that's what they plan on doing a lot. The quick throw. Reggie Bush in a tailback on first down. Boy, not much there. In fact, there's nothing. We'll close the door in the loss of almost three. Liner, deep handoff, and he just simply slips down. He can see the arm charging. Mikel Baquet, third down, line to make just across the 47. Got it over the middle. Smith makes the catch, and he got walloped by Vincent Fuller. Receiver's not a faking going outside. Line drive kick, but it hit the ground, and Johnson has to run away with it. And the pass, let's see, boy, that's going to go dead inside the 10 yard line at the six. What was your initial reaction when they were denied access into the 
ACC. Well, I thought it was illogical. Virginia Tech ought to be in with UVA. They do a lot of good first down. Senator, you're loving this one. Uh, they thought I got sacked and maybe got too many concussions. But I think most of them realized for the whole Commonwealth of Virginia was very good. play this is Hamilton and he is close to an eight-yard gain on that play Randall sets in the pocket pressure put it away and he does and it's Swagger Jeff Swagger we're about to hit the five and a half minute mark of this third quarter it has gone rapidly quarterback draw Randall has five has ten and he will have a first down and it is first and ten, and the new line of scrimmage is the 44 of the Trojans. 98 yards rushing for Brian Randall. See the safety creeping up, showing the blitz. He's going to go long at the far sideline, and the ball is caught, and that's Hyman. May get an interference on this play, Ron. I tell you, the coaches of Virginia Tech are on the field. Watch the hands. I don't know. Well, I, don't know I, 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 I saw the hands, but I don't think he affected. They got a first down to 25. Option play, nothing here. Better job on the option. The field position, as far as this play and where that play would have ended up, that's more than 52. Going to be sacked at the 35-yard line. Lawrence Jackson and. Randall under pressure again just throws this one away. Reggie Bush is the deep man. Left footers boot. This is a long driving kick, but very returnable if he can catch it. Bush has to gather it on the first bounce at the five. 20, 25, and finally knocked down hard. Smith in motion. Looks off the corner, throw to a wide open Lee Webb, and the fullback comes out of the 45 to the 47 yard line. Reggie Bush split out. They're going to go on top. That's who they got. Isolation. Bush. Goodbye. Touchdown. Southern Cal. 53 yards. Jimmy Williams. They toasted him. Make it a four point lead. And he got it. He got to yank that kick, but Mike, show us the all 22. Some, some good kickers in this ballgame tonight on both kickoffs and also field goals. One was missed, but this kickoff here, eight yards deep for the end zone. Special teams coaches love that. Not many campaign dollars on that either. <laughs> Yeah, big pressure, going to have to hurry. Running for his life, and this time they got him wrapped up after a gain of about a yard. It's Royal in motion. Boy, they'd love to get the ball in his hands, but they hand it off to Humes, and he's going to be shy of the first down. Illegal shift against the offense. They weren't set for one second prior to the man going in motion. Jeff King, the tight end, flips over to the left side. He will hit behind the line of scrimmage. Actually brings it out across. So they got time to think it over. The big third down play as we head to the final 15 minutes. And they're standing and cheering here at FedEx Field. 14 to 10. Number one, Southern Cal on top. See Southern Cal showing blitz and they do come off the edge. Throws it and has it complete to number 12, Richard Johnson. Quiet. And here's the puck by Virginia Tech. Boy, not a good kick. Off the side of his foot and it's going to bound. Now it's taken a huge Virginia Tech bounce. And that's going to go dead at the 25 yard line. Play action, throws it out to his tight end, Alex Holmes, and he's going to be tackled after a short game. <laughs> That's why he was 300 pounds as a freshman. <laughs> Lighted has hit his last six passes, now make it seven in a row. That is Steve Smith on the receiving end of that one. 
Lindell White hit at the line of scrimmage by Vince Hall. I don't think he got no, it. No. No. Line drive, end over end now. And with the bounce, we're not going to have a return on it. And it is dead at the 29. Hamilton back in the ball game, hit at the line of scrimmage, and this time he'll have nothing. Darnell Bean, he had 20 in the opener last year against Auburn. Second to 13. Blitz coming off the corner. Randall going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage, and they'll lose two, maybe three more. Third down and 15. Line to make is the 39 and a half yard line. Randall. Deep over the middle, the ball is tipped, knocked away, there's a flag. Holding on 24 defense. Since it was a pass across the line on an eligible receiver, it's a 10-yard penalty, but an automatic first down. Yeah. From the 35-yard line, first and 10. Zings it and caught for the tight end king. I mean, the tight ends have caught anything almost at the 48. It's a career high for King as far as catches and yards. Randall, here comes pressure. Runs up into the pile. Now throws it away, and it is incomplete. That's a great effort. Frank Beamer staring up at the clock. Not his enemy as of yet, but he trails by four. Quick pass. Got it right over the middle. That's complete to Johnson. Richard Johnson. Cornell Bing. Dead ball. Personal foul on number 20 on the defense. 15 yards from the end of the pass. Automatic first down. And the ball is now inside the 30. Randall hit behind the line of scrimmage, and he's going to be sacked. May have gotten back to the line, but number one Southern Cal leads about to go under eight minutes to play in our ball game. Got in the flat. That's Hamilton. To hit immediately and then hit again by the second tackler. Who will eighth play. Maybe started at the 30. Virginia Tech best. I'm not sure if Frank wants any <laughs> part of this inside stuff. No reality for him. Not in television anyway. Randall over the middle. Oh, he misfired. He had him wide open. Richard Johnson. And this is going to be an attempt of 42 yards. Lance Goff is the holder. Good pass, good direction, good distance. We got a one point ball game. So let's take a tie about 7.55 remaining. Trojans 14 and the Hokies 13. The other co national champion. The belly will kick it off. Good high kick. Bush is going to take it one yard deep. Reggie Bush hit before he got to the 15 and it's going to be rough down hard. Quick pass got it out in the flat. Guess who Reggie Bush couldn't get that one going over. See the numbers on Leiter 16 of 25. And White. The big running back is going to take it out close to the first down, but he's not quite there. You can play clock is down to five and now down to four. And he'll go with a quarterback sneak, and he's going to have the first down as he'll take it to the 25. Lindale White, the lone setback, continues to work at tailback. Leiter going to go on top. Put some air under this one. Got a man, Smith. Steve Smith inside the 30-yard line at the 29, tackled by Eric Green. Leiter. Oh, he's looking for Bush, and nobody covered him. Third touchdown of the night, Reggie Bush. Well, nicknamed the president, he's getting a lot of votes here tonight for an outstanding football player. He took it back in. Across the middle, extra point attempt is up, and it's good by Colleen. And let's take a timeout. Reggie Bush, three touchdowns here tonight. And right now, number one, Southern California, cruising.
play, but Warren tripped over his yeah. feet. He didn't trip him, and as it turned out, it was almost a double screen. Five yards deep in the end zone, going to return it. This is Royal. And the player of the year of the state of Virginia last year. Okay, Aaron, thanks very much. First and ten for the Hokies, and now the clock does become Frank Beamer's enemy. A short yardage. I'll tell you what, I think everybody knew about his being deputized last year also, though, Mike. <laughs> First ball that the tight end has dropped tonight. Third down, the line to make is out at the 40. Randall steps up, drills it, and this one too high. Intended for Hyman. Good adjustment by Pete Carroll. Left footer's kick. Wobbly spire is going to be caught on the run at the 31. Bush again. And Reggie will take it just short of the 40 yard line. First and 10, Southern California. Lighter. Throws it immediately, hit immediately, and maybe a yard loss. Us. This is White going to take it for a gain of three, maybe four. 21 to 13 as we have 3.05 to play. SC is six of 12 on third down conversion. Over the middle, Steve Smith just dropped it. Steve Smith had it hitting right. Driving spiral. All the way back to the five yard line, Richard Johnson. He's in trouble. Super coverage as he tried. 27 yards. A big. I don't see how in the world they missed that one. Another flag is down. He lets it go, and this thing's going to go dead. This better be against Southern California, or Frank Beamer's going to strangle somebody. Well, they're going to do it again. This was a 59-yard kick. His first one was 51 yards. This time back at the 17. Stood in there and knocked it. Not going to turn over. The catch is made. It's a 26. And Johnson finally pushed out. Randall runs by one defender now drills the ball and that is going to be incomplete athletes in action was close to the SC campus and thought then dreamed about this football game as that pass is incomplete and two minutes and nine seconds left Randall is sacked and it's Mike Patterson Patterson with the sack Boy, he's had an outstanding ball game. Coach Rodgers is going over to talk with his quarterback. Following the, the turnover, Mendel White goes straight ahead. And right now, only 75 second half yards did they allow Virginia Tech. That's a heck of an effort. White being pushed back here, and they'll give him forward progress at Phillip Rivers at NC State. Carson Palmer, Heisman Trophy winner at SC, and now he's got another one that could be headed for a Heisman uh, Trophy as Reggie Bush is the ball carrier here. So Colleen is going to attempt a field goal. This will be an attempt of uh, just over 40 yards. Good pass. He got it. And uh, a superior job offensively as Southern Cal took advantage of two situations that came up with Bush touchdowns. And that's the difference in the ball game. Well, this is Hyman who's going to return it, and Hyman is not even going to make it to the 15 yard line. Almost intercepted by Tatupu, who I think he also got to put a star by that one as far as things that happened that didn't go right for the Hokies. Near sideline, caught this time by Clowney. Sophomore out of Delray Beach. Going to be very, very early in the morning. They'll be happy. You know, people were hollering for a turnover there, but I, now it runs down, and it is Southern California who gets off to a good start. They got a bit of a scare by this man's ball club, Frank Beamer, but they come from behind and win it 24 to 13.